Okay, so we're back at the big rubbish dump near Edinburgh. Yeah. And we're really excited, as always, because there's always something really interesting to find here. Oh yeah, all the time. Every time we come here, we've found a load of really interesting yeah, yeah. things. So we're really hopeful we're going to find the treasures today, aren't we? So, <laughs> let's, let's do, do it! it. this sticking out and I thought it was a broken ginger beer bottle or something but no how cool is that it's been dug or collapsed out of this turf and it's completely unbroken I'm not sure what kind of bottle it is it might be some kind of rennet bottle which is some kind of animal product I think it might not be but that's kind of what yeah what it's telling me if I can remember rightly, but I'll have to look that up. But that's cool, plus it's got a stamp. What's that say? Oh, I don't know. I can't quite read that right now. It's got 11 in the middle of it. But that's beautiful, beautiful stoneware bottle. And we've not got one like that either, so I'm really happy. That's my first find for today, actually. Pick this up. Isn't that a weird shaped rock? And mum reckons it's a sharpening stone. It's quite cool though. It's obviously been well used before it was broken and thrown away. Nice little ink bottle. Just lying there. I think mum's just found a lampshade. Oh yeah. And down here, whoever's been digging down there has thrown up some pipe balls. Some three plain pipe balls here. Oh no, wait, one of them is not plain. Look at that one there, let's have a look. Oh, something crossed. Oh, is it golf clubs and a golf ball? Oh, that's cool. Of course, Scotland is the home of golf, after all. Yes, look, they're golf clubs. And in the middle of golf ball, that is a new one. A new one on us. That's really cool. I'm definitely keeping that. Oh, so I think something has rolled down this spoil heap down here and it looks like a beautiful apothecary bottle stop oh it is well look at that apothecary jar stop ground in as well it's all matte oh that's brilliant I've not found one like that before actually that's cool it's only got a little tiny chip on it Can you see what I've just found down here? I can't believe it and I hope it's whole. It is a hand. Yes, it's whole. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's a beautiful hand holding a pipe bowl. The bowl is, is chipped off here, but the hand I think is complete from what I can see. Wow. I have never found one of these like this. That is beautiful. What have you found down here? I hear commotion going on. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, oh, wow, was it a, a pan pipe? It's a hand pipe. We haven't found one of these for ages. But that's a beautiful oh, one. Oh, wow. That's not like the other one. No, but the bowl is oh, a bit Oh, look at the chipped. cuff. It is like the cuffs is decoration on it here. Yeah. Well, there's a bit of a chip on the bowl, but we could fix we that, could fix couldn't we? That. We could, yeah. We could, we could repair it. That's, That's beautiful. Fantastic. 
the detail and the cuff and everything. And the fingernails. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, I'm chuffed with that. I know. We're coming, we're, we're coming up with all the fine today. All the treasures today. All well, the my treasures. palm was itching on the way here. Oh, yes. Mum says and her that... palm was itching on the way here. The itching palm. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that must be it then. <laughs> Picked up a handful of broken things here. Um, and none of them I'm going to take, actually. But I wanted to film one of them. This. Um, it's an apothecary bottle stopper. A little ground-in stopper would have been ground into the lip and the neck. Um, but look, it's been engraved with J20. So this was bottle number J20. So I wonder what was in the bottle that this stopped. <laughs> Interesting. Could have been anything. Could have been something deadly poisonous. Who knows? I thought that was quite interesting that it's been it's been engraved. Yeah, I've not not seen that before on a stopper. Um, oh, actually, I'm taking this bit of sponge wear because it's a beautiful like star pattern there. Um, a bit of a knackered vulcanite stopper and a knackered pipe bowl that I'll leave here. Someone else might be interested in them. There's a little bottle here. I'm not sure if it's got anything on it. I think there's a little chip out of the top. But no, it's just plain. Made in a three part mold, I think. Or it could just be a two part. Mm, three part, I think, yeah. Hmm. Interesting, I might keep that. I also spotted this plain clay pipe, which is looks like it's in good nick. And I'm gonna take this to smash the marble out. Oh, what's that? There. Oh, nettles. Is that a bead? Is it a bead? <laughs> I can't tell. It's either a bead or a, like a little mob, like a baking bean or something. I'll take it just in case. All right, so just here there is a bottle sticking out and I'm going to see if it's whole. Let's see, let's see, is it whole? It feels quite firm, it's a possibility, but then the bottom could just be completely gone. I'm going to give it a tug now. Is it whole? It is! It's whole! Oh, there's nothing written on it, but I don't care. It's a stoneware bottle and it's whole. Look at that. That's fantastic. Yep, taking that one home. Okay, so by the side of this hole, I found a button down there. A little brass button. And then I realised, I think I found these can't be all buttons. Oh. Oh. My goodness. Oh. My goodness. It's a whole. It's a whole bag of buttons. Can you see that? Brass buttons. Dozens and dozens of them. Oh my goodness, that is mad. Wow, I wonder how many we can actually recover out of there. Look, and there's a few of them down here as well. I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, so I just called mum over because this is crazy. Isn't it oh. mad? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> there's literally hundreds of buttons. Look at that. Isn't it crazy? Look, we'll get a bit closer. It's a hoard. This, it is literally a hoard. There's bits of thread in there, look, and that looks like a buckle. Maybe it was a tin of buttons. Yeah, or like a, a bag of old bag, buttons that someone's chucked away. It's a funny shape, like they yeah. were in a bag or something. Okay, we've put the light on. Wow. This is amazing. It is we crazy. can put this in something to dissolve. Yeah. 
gonna try Trusty and get stuff. rid of some of the see there's some like the service buttons in there look yeah oh, i don't know if you can see that yeah look the service buttons and then there's like trouser, trouser buttons. buttons bits of wire bits of wire buckles heaven knows what's in there look you can see more there and there's some loose ones as well oh yeah look it's quite cute We've put, loose ones i put a little bundle of look there's some service buttons i wonder oh. i wonder what they what they are this is incredible. I've never seen wow. anything like it. No, this is completely unique. It's, I've, we've ne not come across this before. So we're gonna carefully bag this up. <laughs> we're gonna carefully bag them up and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to recover most of them back at home. And you'll be able to see them around about now, but we've got to wait. Yeah, we've got to wait, but you're about to, they're coming right up now. We knew immediately that this corroded lump of brass buttons wasn't going to be easy to separate and that most of the buttons were already too far gone to save, but we weren't going to give up without a try. It appears the buttons were in a hessian sack when they were thrown into the rubbish, as you can still see the traces of the sack on the outside of the clump. A lot of the buttons just crumbled to dust, but after many hours of careful and painstaking work, we managed to retrieve some of the buttons and restore them to good enough state to be able to read the names and see the designs embossed upon them. Most of the buttons are embossed with the name of the tailor or clothier from whose business they came, along with the name of the city, town or village where they were located. Most of them are Scottish, but a few came from locations in the far north of England. Most of the people named operated in the latter half of the 19th century into the early 20th century, giving us a fascinating glimpse into a time where even the smallest of villages had its resident tailor or clothier. So here they are, with some additional research thrown in. W. Dryberg actually William Dryborough of Burnt Island, Fife, W. Randall of Kirkwall, Orkney, P. Shearer also of Kirkwall, James Lambie of Mabel, Ayrshire, My hope is constant in thee. This is the motto of the clan MacDonald. Isaac Matthewston of Brankston, a tiny village on Northumberland, England, Isaac was the esteemed and indefatigable church warden. Robert Carrick of Berwick, England, clothier at Hyde Hill, J. Scott of Tweedmouth, which is next to Berwick in England, R. Williamson of Peebles, Adair & Co. Edinburgh, B. Hiram of Edinburgh, A. MacDonald of Edinburgh, Page & McGregor of Edinburgh, W. & A. Hogg of Edinburgh, Cora et Industria with a cornucopia, motto of the Walker clan, meaning care and industry. Made by Alexander Kirkwood and son, 9 St. James Square, Edinburgh, and Alexandra Kirkwood is still operating in Edinburgh, producing medals and trophies. Adam Noble of Edinburgh, tailor at 29 West Maitland Street. T. Wilson of Lanark, who was sadly bankrupt in 1892. And finally, J. G. Mackenzie of Lanark, Taylor. This was James G. Mackenzie, who was born in Lanark in 1858, the son of a cotton weaver. By the time James was 13, he was already employed as a tailor. But James must have tired of this sedentary life of a humble tailor and yearned for adventure, and by the age of 20, had enlisted into the army. Life in the army mustn't have proved as romantic as first imagined, because a year later, in 1879, he deserted and poor James was locked in Bedford Jail, sentenced to 168 days of hard labour. His prison record gives a brief description of James as being 21 years old, 5 foot 8 inches tall with brown hair and an imperfect education which is hardly surprising if he was working as a tailor by the age of 13. After serving his time in the army, James claims to have found a position as a tailor with the renowned company of Mayer and Mortimer in London, which still exists. 
Whether this is true or not, we cannot say, but he used this fact in his early advertisements when he returned to Lanark and started his own business as a tailor and clothier in 1884. Okay, I've just found this. And I turned it over before, but look, look, it's a little begging dog. Isn't that so cute? It will clean up lovely. Right, so instead of carrying that whole neck around, Mum's finally freed that cod marble I was meaning to free. Look at this hoard of bottles left by the bottle diggers. Unfortunately, most of them are either broken or ones we already have that are quite common. This looks like, oh, I don't know actually, I'm not sure what that was. Oh. It's, it's heavy, I thought it was off a lamp. Could still have been off a lamp. Broken foot warmers, um, some of them there. All sorts of bottles, broken jugs. That's, That's got a, a shame. big That's chip broken. out of it. Oh, what's it say? Says something on there? Uh, something. Mm, I don't know. That's, I don't think that's English. It's not in English. That must be, maybe it's German or Dutch or something. Yeah, mineral water bottle, yeah. probably. There's a tile here which we'll be taking because we're collecting these. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. Oh, and this one, we've not oh, found yeah, we've not this before. Found this. this is Farallonium? Yeah, Farallonium. Fer Ferro, as in, as in Ferris, iron, as in yeah. Iron, yeah. It says the iron oil food, cod liver oil, iron and phosphorus. So that's one we've never yeah. found before. So it might be worth taking that one yeah, yeah. to look up because we haven't looked it up yet. So yeah, why not? Okay, so look at the, yes. <laughs> The work that's been carried out over here freshly dug massive really deep holes so there's bound to be something here for us to scavenge off the surface at the bottom of this spoil heap i found this it's like a little medallion there's the little loop at the top not sure what it's made out of feels quite heavy it might even be silver that would be really cool if it was i'm not sure what's on it um oh it's it's too difficult to tell so i'm gonna have to clean that up before almost lost it before we can tell what what's going on there but that's really interesting a really potentially great find um and another thing i found a little pipe bowl oh it's a knobbly one it's a knobbly pipe bowl it's, we suppose those little knobbles were for grip holding on to the thing so you don't drop it when you're working right so it's my mission to check out the spoil up here see if there's any little tiny treasures that's been hoid out of that hole we've got a it's probably a oh, big toothpaste pot what's that kind of brass thing not sure what that was oh we've got a swing top bottle stop oh this is a common one it's tenants and there are more little things over here we've got three little pots that Alex found we've got this Tava boot polish bottle might leave that for someone else because I think we've already got one but this is exciting because it's an early golf ball I think I'm pretty sure it might be though it feels quite um, light but I'm taking that just in case because these are quite collectible another bell probably off a bike little bottle um, over here we have got a pipe so yeah lots of things to find Scotland is said to be the home of golf and this is the second antique golf ball we found at this site the first was a gutta percha ball dating from the mid 1800s this one we are a little more uncertain of just see 
this cheeky pipe ball sticking out here. Looks like it's got a hand. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's just broken off the end of the stem, look. It's got a hand on it and it's a TW pipe. So that stands for the workman. And there's the rest of the stem. So I'll take both of them. I think down here, I found a little bit of type. Tiny little bit of type. I wonder what letter it is. Oh, it might be a lowercase t. Yes. Is it a P? A J? T. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those letters, but that's cool. We never find the single pieces of type like this. They've generously left us a cute little bottle there, which I'm putting straight in my bag because that's a cute little one. And a lovely bit of brass, which might come in handy for making something with. We get that cleaned and polished up. I'm not sure what it is, but that might come in handy, so I'll put that in my bag. Mum's down in the hall, looking to see if there's anything down there. Looking to see if there's anything down there, which there probably is. What's that? A marble. A marble. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, broken yeah, plant pot. Oh, like Mum says there's some, some stuff sticking out down here, so we're going down. Let's have a look. What What's sticking out? What have we got? It's oh, a, a pipe. pipe. Oh, has it got out on it? I think it does. Sure. Oh, it's, yeah, a, it's hand. a hand. Oh, that's a very popular motif around here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, find hand. loads of them. And here is a bottle. Oh. Oh, it's a little that's, bottle. It's one of those little bottles. I love them though. There seems to be loads in the ground here. This bottle. So, yeah, there. just here, I've just got these. Wow. So, no wonder they've been digging here furiously because there's obviously lots still coming out. Oh no, look at this poor little fella. Oh, that would have been beautiful. Beautiful cobalt blue bottle. What a shame. Okay, so there's some bottles left here, including this stoneware and I picked it up and it's complete. It's got a D stamped into it there. I'm not sure what kind of bottle it would have been. It's got a pouring lip. It might have been ink, but it could have been could have been a number of other things as well. Um, and there's no chips out of it or anything. Um, and I saw this and I thought it was a crack. I'm not sure if that's actually just the glaze. I might be wrong, but it sounds all right. It might just be a crack in the glaze, but it's a beautiful bottle and I'm keeping it we haven't got one like that yet. Fresh hole and the most noticeable find on the top here is a pipe. <laughs> and then what's one got? It's a bell but it's another bell but it's broken. Oh a broken bell. We found several of these hey. here haven't we? And there's still a lot of bottles down there in the hole. Oh oh no I'm falling. made a mess. Oh, another bottle with like blue dye in it. It's not. It's, it's funny. Blue yeah, stuff. stuff. Yeah, we found loads of bottles with that have got kind of stained blue. Oh, that's got still got the cork in it, look. A few last finds here. We've got a little dog head <laughs> and then I found this beautiful opalescent bead which is absolutely beautiful looks like wound glass maybe or cane cut beautiful either way Put it with the dog head and a swing top stopper which has some information on it, it says Sanderson's Edinburgh that's cool
Another day of fabulous finds. We love to read all of your wonderful comments, even though we can't answer them all. So what do you think of our finds this week? And what would you like to see added to the Window of Wonders? a really brilliant day like we found some really amazing finds like really interesting finds things i didn't expect to be finding like all those buttons and i know you've seen it um, but i really hope that turns out well and some interesting things and it's exciting so i really hope you've enjoyed this week's video and all there is to say now is a great big thank you to everyone who has watched the video of course um, do who's liked the video who's left a comment down below because we love reading your comments and of course a great big thank you to all of our patrons on patreon who help to keep us going every month thank you so much and to everyone else who has contributed in any way whether it's buying things off our amazon yeah. wish list or buying us a coffee on Kofi, we really appreciate it so thank you thank you all so much and we'll see you again next, next week. week bye, bye.